In this video, we were looking at how can we use Excel to estimate the Cope Douglas production function. So in the intermediate microeconomic class, we already learned a function called the Cope Douglas production function, and it has a special production format. So Q stands for the production quantity, and A it stands for sometimes people say it's technology or the productivity, and the L stands for label, and the K stands for capital. And the beta 1 and the beta 2 stands for the production elasticity. So in this case, uh, this is the, based on the theory and, the, and also proved by the empirical works. And we want to estimate A, beta 1, beta 2. So for instance, think about if you are trying to uh, doing to understand like the GEs, their production function, production. So in Erie, we have the one GE, they are mainly producing the, uh, the engine for the um, uh, train. So what you can do is, okay, you can go there to check the different units and to see uh, how many product they can produce and per day, how many labor hour they use, how much money they spend on the capital. So you will be able to ca uh, collect the data for Q, L, and K. However, you will not be able to know A, productivity, beta 1, elasticity, uh, production elasticity for labor, beta 2, production elasticity for capital. And uh, also we know, uh, in, uh, based on the theory, we know if beta 1 plus beta 2 equal to 1, we have the constant return to scale. If the beta 1 plus beta 2 larger than 1, we will have the returns to scale are increasing. If beta 1 plus beta 2 is more than 1, we have the returns to, uh, to the scale is decreasing. So definitely A, beta 1, beta 2, they have the special economic meaning and will further guide the decision maker to make the right decision. And so our job now is we want to use the linear relationship, linear regression model to estimate A, beta 1, and beta 2. So if you're looking at the functional form here, the first thought is no, we cannot use simple linear regression. We cannot use the multiple regression model to analyze it because those variables L, K, they are not the linear, uh, have the linear relationship in this uh, functional form. So then we're going to do some transformation. So this rely on your basic math, the natural log. So we will take a natural log on both sides, and then we will end up like this function. Natural log Q equal to uh, natural log A plus beta, beta 1 multiplied by natural log L plus beta 2 multiplied by natural log of K. So after we follow the basic math relationship, we'll be able to transform the original Cobb Douglas production to the natural log format. And my random my variable are uh, changed to the linear relationship. So in this case, my natural log of Q is the Y variable. And the natural log of A actually is my beta 1, right? Oh, be, sorry, beta 0 from the regression model. And the natural log of L actually is the x1 in the multiple regression model. And the natural, the natural log of k is my x2. So now if you're looking at uh, try to link the transform the Tukov Douglas function with uh, the multiple reg linear regression model we learned in the class, actually we are just trying to estimate our linear relation of uh, the the multiple regression mod, linear regression model with the two predictors. So that's easy. So let's go back to look at uh, using the example to uh, learn how to estimate uh, A, beta 1, and beta 2. So the data set is located on Q3. So here we total have 15 plants. So they are in the same industry. And the B column is indicate the, the production and the measurement units is ton. And the second and third columns, C and D, is my labor and the capital. So the labor is measured by how many hours the, the employee work. 
the capital is how much the asset, the value for the assets. So now you can see we have the production, labor, and the capital. So if you're looking at the handout, so we know the value Q, L, and K. However, they are nonlinearly related. So we first, uh, first step we need to do is transform my Q, L, and K to a natural log value. So then we're going to create a three more column. The first, L, Q. Second, uh, log, L. Natural log, K. And then we're going to get the observation for the three new transformed variables. So we're going to use in natural log. So the function we use is ln, so natural log, so the name of natural log, the symbol for natural log, and parentheses. So the first in the E2 cell is the first observation for the natural log of the production. So I choose the B2 cell, and then close the parentheses and push enter. So 6.40572 is the natural log for 605.3 counts. So then I'm going to use a drop down uh, function from Excel. First, I drag to the right, and then I drag down. So make sure select the first row, and then drag down. So all the value from E to G column is a natural, no natural log value corresponding to column B to Z. So now we're going to be able to run my regression model. So again, uh, look at the uh, equation again. So the natural log Q is my Y variable. Natural log of labor is X1. Natural log of capital is X2. So now we're going to do is data, data analysis, and then find the regression and click OK. So now my Y range is the natural. The Y range is the natural log of production. And the X range is F and G column. And uh, check the box for labels and uh, place the result in Q3 red. And check all the box and then click OK. And we'll keep two decimal places. Format sale number two. OK. So let me enlarge a little bit. So now we have 1.08 is my beta 1, and uh, 0.42 is my beta 2. So now we, are know, we know beta 1 and beta 2's value, but we don't know A. What we know is beta 0, which is natural log of A, and how can we get the value back for my A, the productivity? So here, the line A, we know, is my beta 1, which is equal to this value. So what we're going to do is we want to get A. So you need to know A is the inverse of the natural log of A, So which the function we were using is called the equal EXP parentheses. So equal EXP parentheses is the natural log, natural log uh, natural a number and a power by the value here. So that's the equal EXP parentheses and choosing the B0's value and close the parentheses. So actually the productivity is equal to 0 0.01. So this is A's value, beta 1 and beta 2. So now looking at the beta 1 and beta 2's value, can you tell me the returns of the scale of, for this industry? Yes. The return of the skill for this industry is increasing because beta 1 plus beta 2 larger than 1.